All right, I want to bring in an optometrist and owner of Advanced Vision Care in Nashville and Belleville, Dr. Joshua Wilson. Doctor, good morning. Good morning, Cheryl. Thanks for having me. You know, I was reading an article over the weekend about the concerns by optometrists with regards to eye damage and that they're, they're worried that ER visits are going to be jumping today or tonight because people aren't going to be doing the right things, the safe things to watch the solar eclipse. So, so tell us what we need to do correctly so we don't damage our eyes. Obviously, as you guys know, you need to have a pair of these ISO certified eclipse glasses and they need to be worn at all times while you are watching the sun during the eclipse. And it's important to uh, know the difference between these and a regular pair of sunglasses. These are 100,000 times darker than a regular pair of sunglasses. So these need to be on again at all times. You need to put them on when not looking directly at the sun. Then you can look at the sun and then look away from the sun and then you can take them off again. It's also not safe to use devices such as cameras, telescopes, or other things without a protective coating or lens on those as well. So wait, so we, do, we need to have our glasses on plus we need to be careful about our phones? Can you explain that again? Well, it's more, not necessarily the phones, but more, um, you know, regular cameras, telescopes, binoculars. Okay. However, the phones as well, you do not want to point directly okay. at the sun because it can cause damage to the phones as well. You know, so many people are going to be using their devices today, obviously. Let's, um, let's talk about eye damage. I mean, how serious could eye damage be to someone if, they, if they're not wearing glasses, they don't follow safety procedures? What can happen to the eye? I mean, we're talking within a matter of seconds is all it takes to cause permanent damage to, to your eyes. So this is something you need to definitely take pretty serious. Um, it's a condition called solar retinopathy is what can occur when the harmful UV light is absorbed by the back of the eye and the retina, um, specifically by layers such as the rods and the cones. In the center part of your vision known as the macula, it can cause a photochemical reaction which causes permanent uh, damage to these areas. And we're talking about a blind spot which could p possibly be there for the rest of your life. And again, we're not talking about staring at the sun for minutes, we're talking about seconds which could lead to this permanent vision loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I was reading an article about a man that watched the 1979 eclipse and he's had permanent eye damage ever since. Kind of that warning that you're kind of giving us as well. And then what about kids? I mean, so many kids are excited today to get out out there, you know, a lot of them are getting off of school um, to go watch. Do they need different glasses and do we need to be a little more concerned about our kids versus ourselves out there today? This is probably one of the most common questions I've received over the you know, last few weeks is from concerned parents whose kids are going to be in school today. Um, you know, all the schools are taking different approaches. Some of them have called off school. Some of them are planning big events. Some of them are going to have the children watch it inside, uh, you know, inside on TV instead. But this is definitely a little bit of a concern to me for a few reasons. One is, you know, these glasses that we're all wearing, these are the same glasses more than likely the kids will be wearing. They're made for adults, so they're not fit perfectly for the, you know, the smaller children. Mm -hmm. And a couple other things, as you noticed earlier, that everything's black while you have these on. So yeah. they're going to be taking these children. They're going to be taking these children outside of buildings, and they can't have the glasses on because you can't walk or navigate with the glasses on. So they're going to walk to the viewing areas without glasses on, but tell the children don't look up in the sky, which of course their first instinct is going to be to look up. And then once you do have them on, since, since it's total blackness except for the sun, their tendency is going to be to either want to take them off or peek around the glasses. So, I mean, they definitely need to be supervised at all times. Um, it is a little scary, but at the same time, it's a great educational opportunity. So it's something that doesn't want to be missed either. Uh, doctor, you know, there's kind of been a run on these glasses. They're pretty tough to get. We actually have to give these back that are in the studio right now, uh, which is, you know, which I'm trying to figure out. Disappointing. I'm trying to figure out how to get around that. Budget cuts. My, my question is, is, is there a way we can make uh, sort of jury read glasses at home? Is there some sort of homemade glasses we can use if we can't get to McDonald's or steal these ones from Fox or somewhat? <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't want to be. I don't want to be busy tomorrow looking at people who have homemade <laughs> okay. glasses. That's for sure. No, the only again, the only safe approved devices are these ISO certified pair of glasses. Um, sunglasses again. There's no type of sunglasses that are dark enough to use. The only other method is the indirect methods that were talked about earlier on your show, using the pinholes and other things. But if you want to directly look at the sun, 
You need to use an ISO certified pair of glasses. The only time it may be safe is to remove is if you are within that path of totality, you can remove it for the few minutes where there is a total eclipse. But once that sun starts to come back from behind the moon, they need to be put back on it's, immediately. It's, it's kind of frightening how careful we have to be. And just real quick before you let it go, what about our pets? Um, there's been a lot of discussion about dogs and that people are worried about their dogs looking up or their cats looking up towards the sun. Are you, are we, should we be worried about our pets? The recommendation is to keep all pets inside, not only because they may look up at the uh, sun and they don't have these cool glasses, though I guess you could probably try and find a way to put them on them. But the other thing is, you know, when it, when it becomes night, they don't know what's going on. They're like, all of a sudden it's daylight and then it becomes night and they're going to be confused and they're going to be a little on edge the way it is. So the mm -hmm. recommendation is to, yeah. yes, go ahead and keep your pets indoors as well. Yeah, so I think the, the emotional behavior of the animals is interesting. Dr. Joshua Wilson, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and I'm glad he pointed out the fact that these are, when you put these on, folks, just know that it's black. I mean, you're not going to be able to see, just to warn you today. So just when you walk outside, just be prepared, as we've all learned here on our set. And